G'day folks, this is Sim and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. It's been quite a while since I've actually played. Um, well, not really. I've actually been playing online with a couple of friends recently and it's given me an itch to get back into the single player game. Also, the game has changed quite a bit uh, since we first started uh, playing and recording um, over a year ago now, I think. Um, so it's certainly worth um, doing a fresh tutorial and bringing things up to date. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the basics and that is early tools, survival tactics um, and shelter. And the first thing that we're doing as you can see is just beating on some grass. The reason we're doing that is that we want the grass fibers and we want some stones and the other thing that we want is these thicker looking bushes we want to break a couple of these as well to get ourselves some sticks now it looks like at the moment we're lucky we've got a zombie over there um, there's probably a whole bunch over in that wasteland if you ever start a game in the wasteland you want to just run um, wastelands are deadly um, so we've got some sticks, we've got some fibres and we've got some stones. So we're going to stick the stones into the middle of the crafting grid and we're going to craft up two sharp stones. We're all going to, also going to stick some grass into the middle of the crafting grid and craft ourselves up some plant fibres. And then this pattern here, which you can find in game by searching for axe, and we'll see stone axe pattern there and we can craft two of those up and we'll do that right now so there's one there we'll stick the other one down there as well and we'll pick the water and the food over here for now and the bandages okay so that is how you get your very first tool and starting weapon now at the moment we're not seen uh, and while we're not seen we'll take advantage and what we'll do is we will grab a few bits and pieces so we want cotton it's very important early in the game golden rod is also very important we'll get to that a little bit later um, and now that we've got an axe let me pick up the cotton game um, I am crouched now in case you hadn't noticed and the reason I'm crouched is, is that it makes it harder for me to be spotted and you can see that the little eye um, cursor at the moment is slitted which means that I'm not seen now that we've got the stone axe we can break a bunch of this grass a lot quicker just a single hit will do the trick and something else that you might want to be aware of early in the game we can pick something up by hitting the E key to collect it um, but we can also pick up anything that's within range simply by holding down the E key so now we've got all of that extra grass Right now though, our main focus is stones and wood. They are the most critical um, resources at the early game um, and we need a lot of them to get our first decent weapon so that we've at least got a chance of surviving. Uh, when it comes to the zombies, um, the tactics are generally speaking avoid them wherever possible the reason for that is not that they can hurt you and kill you, which they will do. Um, it's because every time you take a hit from a zombie, you risk getting hit by some debuffs. One of those debuffs is bleeding, uh, and if you don't have a bandage, you will bleed out. Uh, now, that sound is likely to attract zombies, so let's just move away just a little bit. Um, the other is infection and infection is insidious because infection takes a lot longer to kill you but it will kill you don't doubt that um, and the only way to cure an infection is to get antibiotics which are not a common drop in the game so chopping down that tree made enough sound to attract that zombie so he's now focused on us so even though we're crouched he's going to continue to hunt us uh, we moved into her line of sight so she can see us too so we're just going to have to start moving. If we get far enough away from them, we will lose them. 
and there's another one right there so we need to keep going and look this is what you're going to find when you start out um, there's a lot of zombies scattered around all over the place um, and you're going to spend a lot of time avoiding them now birds nests give us both feathers and eggs and they are also one of the most primary um, targets when it comes to early game you want to get a lot of feathers as quickly as you can and we'll get to the reason why soon enough right now I just want to keep moving and hopefully lose the ones that are focused on me get far enough away whoops I was searching that Oi. we want to get far enough away as quickly as we can because we're going to find that we've gathered up um, a whole mass of followers very very quickly um, and losing them is not exactly easy and sadly once you get oh 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 I did not see that one at all alright time to get up there's no point hiding anymore there's too many of them that can see us I'm having real trouble focusing on things right now so what we're going to do is we're just going to zigzag around we're going to keep moving we're going to try and keep our eyes open get over here I want to stay close to the road as close as possible but okay and looks like the road breaks here so now again we've got a little bit of a gap we are hunted so something is going to be fairly close by so I do need to keep an eye out while I'm chopping this tree so we're just going to circle around and hopefully spot anything okay so now we managed to break line of sight for long enough that we should be able to chop down some of these trees. So we'll take out that one. Now, something else that we would want to do is if we have the opportunity like we do now, no, I've been hunted, something spotted me again. That guy over there. Picking up stones is one way to get stones. Another way is to beat on these rock formations. Okay, so what have we got? We've got that guy over there and we've got another one over here that's a bird's nest empty Oi. why are you doing that another bird's nest and some trash that guy's close all right we need to move a little oh no we can't afford to he's too close okay that nurse there now you'll notice that she doesn't see us because we're crouched down and we're behind her we haven't broken line of sight whereas that other guy behind us will keep following us for quite a long time and possibly okay did she yes yeah, she saw us as well let's get up and run for a little while it really is hard to lose them early on in the piece because the spawning is quite scattered things tighten up a little bit once you've been playing for a while um, and you don't have quite so many out in the open so it's a little bit easier to move around not to mention the fact that you can actually pick them off a little bit earlier on uh, later in the game because you have the ability to do so now that deer um, I would be very tempted to actually take its meat right now um, but as well as noise uh, zombies are also attracted to smells and carrying raw meat around is like hanging out a sign that says come and eat me I am delicious so as much as I would like that I'm not going to have a horde of 50 zombies following me around at this stage of the game I really need to get this tutorial down okay we've got that guy over there we've got that guy over there let's run along the um, water line a little bit oh hello rabbit 
okay we've got 80 feathers now which is definitely much better I would prefer to have about 120 feathers and probably about 120 stones to start the game I mean that's not necessary but that that's a good number in my opinion um, and as you can see we've, we've only got 29 stones at the moment and we probably need about 13 logs so while we've got a little bit of a lull again let's see if we can get down and get ourselves undetected get over oh okay there's one over there let's head over this way a little bit bird's nest thank you we will appreciate the eggs later as well okay let's get down here take out this tree because we need to be sheltering up for the night. Okay, so yeah, we got company again. All right. Let's just stay upright for the time being. Make sure that there is nothing too close. They are everywhere, unfortunately. Um, that, I think, will be okay. Let's just loop around and make sure. I keep seeing something over there. Yeah, you. I've got about 16 hits on this, and that guy with the bloody t-shirt is one of the faster-moving zombies. And, oh, and I didn't see that crawler sneaking up on me either. Right, let's see if we can get the last couple of hits on this tree though. We're not gonna, you know. Ah, oh, he got me. Okay, we got lucky. Alright, so now we just need to get past here and pick up those logs and keep moving. so many zombies they are everywhere and like the walking dead they are relentless okay we do not want that raw rotten flesh that is not a good thing to be starting off on uh, we'll take the brass scrap while we've got a little bit of space to play with and I definitely want a little bit more cotton those guys aren't going to quit so we will do a sprint and see if we can get far enough away to get a little bit of a lull we might get lucky okay we've got a nurse over there or something is it just the one? think so let's see if we can sneak up on this one from behind that's not a nurse let's see if we can take her out oh she hit me anyway that sucks you get double damage when you uh, sneak attack all right but we are now undetected so hopefully there's nothing else around here and we've got 140 feathers so that's our feathers taken care of no, I'm bloody well hunted again. And I'm not sure where from. Oh, look, that was so close. Well, let's get down here. Hopefully we can take out a couple more trees. Now, we probably don't need this many resources. Um, but I'm just doing the best that I can. Come on. Alright, and we'll run over this way a little bit further. And we'll take out this one as well. Okay, and as you can see, those other ones, they're all still coming for us. And those ones with the broken legs, 
they are fairly quick, so we've got to be really careful now. Come on, break, 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 break. Come on. Seriously. Alright, we just need to get, there's going to be like one or two hits left to take this tree down, surely. What? What the heck is going on here? There's a duffel bag there. Um, okay, we're going to have to um, herd this mob because I really want to get into that and I want to get that tree which is almost dead. Let's switch over to the stronger um, undamaged axe. Crikey, they are everywhere. And this is the biggest danger. They will overwhelm you if you're not careful. Alright, let's see if we can get around behind them now. Because as I said, we are a lot faster than they are. Where's that duffel bag? Okay, we got food, we got a shotgun stock. The iron reinforced club is not that great. Now, tree, are you going to break? Thank you. Alright, and let's just run away from that pack. Hopefully they will reduce the amount of spawns further along here. Okay, we've got a lot of stone in here, so if we can get far enough in and not be seen, might be able to gather some stuff. So we need to be careful though, because they could be hiding behind trees, or they could be in the grass. The fact that we're still being hunted even at this point makes me worried. I would have thought that... Oh no, now we're undetected. Okay, sweet. So I really do want to get a decent supply of stones up. Okay, so that takes us up to 55. We've got 33 logs, which is pretty decent. We'll still grab any loose ones that we can see. But we definitely want to try and get as much stone as we can. Wait for this one to break. The other thing that we want to get into the habit of doing is crafting on the fly. So I want to craft up a whole bunch of wooden planks while we're working our way through. Oops, stay down low. Those ones over there are almost within line of sight, so we need to be careful. Come on. Okay, we're up to 71. Move over this way a little bit further. We've got a couple. There's a bird's nest over there as well. Now, just so that you're aware, the game that we're playing um, is running standards, defaults pretty much. Um, the only changes that I have made are I've changed the daytime to 20 minutes so that it fits in a little bit better with YouTube and uh, I have also increased the crafting speed of the crafting because um, there are no ways to craft things that you're not actually crafting yourself in your inventory so some of the long crafting tasks take forever um, so speeding up the timer will make things work a little bit better the other thing that I have done is um, I've changed the um, uh, the loot drops. In the game you get planes that fly over and they will drop loot crates and they contain some of the best and the rarest items in the game. Now I've actually set that timer for those out to seven days so we're only going to get one a week because they can have a big effect on the gameplay so um, I do want to keep that one limited as much as possible. Now the other thing is, okay, something spotted me. Not sure where. There. Okay, time to get up and run. 
Now the other thing is is that this map, I am actually fully aware of this map because I did run up a world to actually play and get a, get an idea of what it was going to be like in single player. Um, and I've used the same seed for this particular game here so that uh, pretty much most of the things are going to be in the same places. Uh, and that allows me to um, at least get off to a fairly decent start um, when it comes to doing a tutorial. So um, I knew that this village was here and we've actually been working our way towards it. Uh, if you're starting out, oh that mouldy bread, that is important stuff. I'll cover why in a minute. Um, now, yes, if you're starting out, you really do want shelter. And other than digging down, the best shelter is um, to find a building. Preferably one that's not in a town, one that's out in the open. Um, but somewhere where you can get inside and out of sight and where you can hunker down and stay quiet. But it's now coming up five o'clock so what I really want to do now I've got a hundred and seven rocks I'll bother let's break this one before that guy gets over here uh, he's a fast one too damn come on come on ah oh, and they're stuck come on let me pick them up I think I got them. Alright. Let's move over here because what I want to do is I want to move through here. And I want to attract the attention of any of the zombies that are in this immediate area. And I want to lead them away. Um, so let's make a little bit of noise with this door. Oh, I thought something was swinging at me then. This is just the sound of myself. Okay, so these guys are all coming. Is there anybody around here? Let's have a look at what else is going on. Hey, you. Oh, that's a nurse. Can we get a sneak attack on her? Oh, she hit me! Come on! Okay, bandages and a splint. That was worth it. Even though I took damage in the process. Alright, so... Right, we want to draw... as many of these guys as possible away from here come on you lot so that we can hopefully come back here uh, undetected so unfortunately the downside is, is that we have to deal with the fast ones as well as the slow ones so we'll take the opportunity while we're doing that to search few of the more likely things. A shovel, that's a score. And there's another um, nurse there, but too many around to want to take her on. At this point, I really do need to be avoiding combat. And I want to draw as many as I can out this side of town. So let's head over here and get a few more stones while they're following. We're certainly going to be making enough noise to attract their attention I would hope. We do need to be careful though that nothing sneaks up on us. Particularly things like that crawler that's over there on the road. Um, they come through the grass and they're quick. Uh, no, I want to go this way. I don't want to be going back towards town. I want to be going away from town. Yep, 
You guys still all coming? Come on. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? Same with you guys. I'm running out of time, so please keep... Whoa. Please keep coming this way. Okay, so I just need a few more rocks uh, for what I want to do. So I think I'll gather those instead of beating on the stones. Assuming that I can find any around here. They're never lying around when you need them or they're right underneath you. Okay, what about 130 to 140 rocks? Um, so that should give me enough. Okay, these guys are starting to get a little bit close. And the problem is, is running around with your head down, you do put yourself in danger. Okay, so we've got those. We've got planks. Oops. Get in there. Let's get those crafting. While we gather up a few more to make ourselves a campfire for the night. We need about eight more. And, oh, there's a nice patch here. And we'll make sure we've still got these guys all focused on us. We do. Good. So let's just loop around again. That will uh, drag the slow ones into the pack with the rest. And we'll head right over this way here. And, oops, thank you, bird's nest. All right, and we're rapidly running out of time, so what we're going to do now is those have almost finished. We need to take a bunch of planks now and convert those planks into sticks. Okay, and I think now is probably the time to lose that pack because it's going to get dark very quickly uh, now. So it's time to get away and they will uh, just mill around mindlessly once they lose uh, focus on us. Oh, what's in here? Food, okay, we need that. We are actually hungry because we've been running so much, uh, which means I'm actually not hungry, thirsty. So uh, we're hungry and thirsty, so we need to drink and we need to eat. And I haven't been very lucky when it comes to water, so we're going to have to take our chances. So let's run all the way back over here. We'll get our back to this wall. So hopefully not as many things can see us. So now we've got sticks, we've got feathers, and we've got stones. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to craft up a bunch of crossbow bolts. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm still hunted, believe it or not. Something can see me. What? Where? I want to get into here. And I want to grab these because these oil barrels will explode, so um, we don't want them lying around. Plus, it's actually going to be useful to have them. We're going to break our way into here as quickly as we can. Okay, now we're in here, we actually will have lost line of sight, so the only thing that's going to attract attention is the noise that we make. So let's cornmeal. Nothing. It's going to be dark very, very quickly. Cat food. Okay, if things get desperate, we can't afford to be picky. Oh, 
I, I so want that rabbit but that rabbit will call every single zombie down on me okay and it's about to get dark so I really need to get out of sight as quick as I can water that's what I wanted uh, and what's in here a bookshelf okay hunting knife book that's important and okay all right now it's the sky is red so there is a distinct chance that they're going to be going f uh, fast very quickly so there's a ladder here we want to get up onto this roof and we want to quickly get that back there throw those crossbow bolts down there and we want to make up a frame or two like this come on At the moment we're undetected um, but zombies climb ladders so if we take these wooden frames and place them here while we can still see what we're doing uh, that's not what I wanted to do place one there one on top that makes it harder for them to get up now the other thing that I want to do is I want to get around here and I'm going to place this torch in the corner here now just so you're aware why can't I place a torch thank you um, light does not currently attract zombies um, but uh, what it does do is it makes you visible so if they can see you because you're in the light um, they're more likely to follow you or oh, skinned rabbit okay that's kind of handy but we don't want to be carrying that right now the water is really useful um, I'll show you why the skin rabbit is good in just a minute let's just get around here it's gonna get lighter in just a sec 25 feathers alright so we need to focus on uh, getting some basic stuff in place but unfortunately time um, has run out so I'm going to be calling the episode here um, and I will come back in the morning uh, unless things get interesting between now and then um, and we will cover our, our first weapon and um, some basic things that we need to know anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this I hope we didn't cover too much too quickly too early um, but you really are under a lot of pressure in seven days to die from the very outset um, look forward to seeing you again and until then take care of each other everybody and ciao for now